Hallo Leute, ich bin Adam von New Hampshire, USA und ich sehe durch für euch. Hello, Leute! Everything is in good fun until enough is enough. That's why sometimes you have to say stop or other things. And that's what we're learning today. Ways to tell people to stop. Because you know, sometimes people really just need to be told. Just stop, okay? Just stop. But before we get to all these show-stopping terms, it's sponsor time. Today's episode is sponsored by Lingoda. <laughs> Lingoda is an online alternative for traditional language schools, which means it's a language school that works online. Meaning you get the combined benefits of visiting classes with actual real teachers that you can talk to in a classroom with other people and the advantages of doing it online. They offer classes 24 seven around the clock so you can book a class whenever you have time for it no matter where on the world you are and no matter how busy you get. Even on your lunch break if you're that motivated. There's individual classes and group classes, although groups stay pretty small, we're not talking 20 people here, more like three to five. And pricing starts at eight euros per group class. And even better, since you're coming through Deutsch für euch, click the link in the description and enter this voucher code to get 20 euros off of your first month. Also, if you're not sure about this method yet, you can head over to their Instagram or their website to read other people's testimonials. Also, good news for anybody who likes a challenge, the language sprint has been prolonged, meaning you can still enter until June 26, meaning you will be able to get three months of German lessons for free, or rather 100% of your money back, if you fulfill a certain amount of requirements, which you can find in this video I made, if you click on that, but not right now, right now stay here. <laughs> I'm also gonna put the link to the video in the description. Okay, stop, Hammerzeit. <laughs> oh man, that was a that was a very like early time of DFA joke. Damn, still got it. Now, let's get to how to tell people to stop. That's an important skill to have in any language. I noticed putting these together that most of them are best translated into English with stop it, which I think is why it's extra important to point all of these out. So the first one you already heard is stop. Same as stop, but pronounced differently. Also spelled with two P's. Stop. Not a verb in German though. So when in English you can say stop it, that doesn't work in German. The only thing you can say is stop, stop, halt. And that's already the next word, halt. Halt. I think Americans are familiar with this as well. Halt, halt. Typically something the police would yell, for example, at somebody escaping. Halt, Polizei. <laughs> Comes from the verb halten, which technically means to hold. That also works in English, right? And we also use anhalten, which literally means to stop while you're moving. Hör auf. This is the imperative of the verb aufhören, which means to stop. It doesn't have anything to do with listening, even though hören is in this. So aufhören means to stop. Pretty sure this was also on my list for verbs that I made with the prefix auf. You can check the video there to see if I'm right. <laughs> so that means when you know somebody well, so when you call them du, you will say hör auf. Also, hör auf damit, stop that. Hör auf damit. Because we say mit etwas aufhören, so dativ. Mit etwas aufhören. Hör auf damit. If you want to tell somebody that you call sie, so somebody that you're speaking politely to, if you want to tell somebody that you call sie to stop it, you will say hören sie auf. Hören sie auf damit. The plural, of course, would be hört auf damit. So, plural of familiar, so not du, but ihr hört auf damit, if it's more than one person. Also, and this would be something that you would yell at somebody in the street that you don't know, or maybe even at a group of people, you would call aufhören. So just the infinitive, aufhören. Aufhören, hör auf, hören sie auf. None of these are rude, but they're very, very direct. So when you hear somebody use this or use this yourself, it usually means, okay, that's that's enough, stop it now, hör auf. A little bit less strict is lass das, lass das, eh, leave it, literally, lass das, lassen, to leave, to let. So lass das, again, also means stop doing that. Also works with sie, of course, so lassen sie das, lassen sie das. Not to be confused with lass das los, which means let go of that. 
Lass das just means stop it. Stop doing that. Schluss or Schluss damit. Schluss, der Schluss means the end, the end part. So you're literally saying end or end with that. Schluss damit. Again, uh, same as with Hör auf damit, stop doing that. Hör auf damit, we're also using the dativ here. So Schluss damit means that's enough of that. This is very much the same and perfectly exchangeable with Lass das or Lasst das, which is why I'm putting it afterwards because both are things that you might, for example, hear a mother say to their kids or kids say to each other, um, stuff like that. Schluss, Schluss damit. Next one is Das reicht, which First one, that doesn't mean stop it. It means that's enough. Reichen is the verb here. Doesn't have a good true verb in English. It just means to be enough. Das reicht. That's enough. Doesn't have to be aggressive either. You could, I don't know, somebody pours you a glass of water. You might say, das reicht. That's enough. Not exactly polite, but you could say that without sounding, you know, um, aggressive. But you can say it as a sort of very authoritarian way of saying enough. Das reicht. Es reicht. That's enough. Same, of course, is true for genug, which literally means enough. So, genug. But you won't really hear this one used. You might hear it in some movies or books or, you know, from a more, I don't know, I'm thinking of a king coming down the stairs being like, genug. I don't think this is something that you would hear parents saying to their children, for example. Something you will hear in everyday conversations, though, is mir reicht's. So the same as das reicht, but I've had enough. I've had enough. Mir reicht's. This is enough for me. So, mir reicht's. I've had it. So this is not really telling somebody to stop, but it very much implies if you keep going, I'm out of here. So, mir reicht's. That's it. This is something that somebody might say before walking out of the room, just like in English. Mir reicht's. And then lastly, ich hab die Schnauze voll. I've had it once again, but literally it means I have the snout full. So I, you know, I'm, my, my whole face is covered in this, basically. It's like I stuck my nose too deep into this and now all of it is full of it and I've had enough of it. Ich hab die Schnauze voll. This is very like high levels of aggravation. I've, I'm, I've had it. You were pushing me to the edge. Ich hab die Schnauze voll. And you are not gonna say this to your superior unless you're about to quit your job. So this is very much a family, friends, whatever, like well-known people context thing to say. Ich hab die Schnauze voll. And that's our list for today. Hör auf, hört auf, hören Sie auf, or all of these with damit. Hör auf damit, hört auf damit, hören Sie auf damit, and aufhören. Lass das, and lasst das. I'm pronouncing this overly clearly, by the way, so you will notice that there is a difference. In spoken speech, it will just basically sound the same. Lass das, lass das. Schluss damit. Schluss. Halt. Das reicht. Es reicht. Genug. Mir reicht's. Ich hab die Schnauze voll. And that's genug for today. Before we come to the Schluss of today's episode and I give you a random word of the week, let me, as always, talk about my Patreon, which is where all of these lovely people that you see scrolling by right now are supporting DFE financially, which I'm very, very thank you, thank, thank you for, thankful for, hence the list. If you also want to go support DFE and get a few rewards, like standing on the list, of course, but also getting scripts for my grammar scripts, extras for other episodes and other things that you can get all the info on there. Go to the link in the description that's also on the screen right now and check it out whether it is for you. Once again, thank you to everybody who's already doing it and a special thanks to everyone pledging $10 and up. You're awesome. Your random word of the week is Der Feierabend. Super important word in German, Der Feierabend, which refers to the time of the day after you've done your work and you now get to be free until you have to go back to work again. Celebration evening is after you've done your work. You can put your feet up or go on the internet and learn German. Der Feierabend. So, bis dann. Tschüss.